welcome back to my video to youtube channel uh, today we're going to see a quick introduction of uh, mtn mobile money developer uh, i made i decided to create this video because uh, the existing video on youtube doesn't clarify what you need to do as a developer and i wanted to do something quick so that uh, it doesn't take you hours just to figure out a simple thing so uh, this is the website of mobile money uh, developer and this is uh, another website that you will need to use when you are uh, generating the uid so you will see the use it uh, in a moment so when you have the account you go to their website and you create account and uh, if you have account go to sign in and uh, once you go there uh, click sign in and you are ready in the account now you will you are ready to start um, choose a product you want to start with uh, for me I choose this you can choose anything you want and uh, the bottom you see the user provisioning uh, this is something you need to do first uh, in order to start access the uh, the MTN uh, API you need to have uh, you need to provide uh, provision the user you want to use of uh, uh, alongside uh, the, the API call so now you come here, uh, then you generate a new a new UID to use, and this new UID will be your username to your user. So then you copy the UID to the clipboard, then you go here, click try it, and once you go there, paste the UID you have uh, copied from that uh, website, then uh, add the callback HTTP. Host. This is my callback. You can add. Uh, you can add any callback uh, for your choice. And then after you click send, uh, and after that you get the two two hundred and one created status. And after that you go to the second API just to confirm that the user has been created. You go to try it, and you go to this, and you copy the same UID you have generated from here. And after that, you go to the bottom and you click send. And if it gives you back what you have inserted with the environment of sandbox, that means it is working for you. Then you go to the third uh, endpoint, which is to get the API key. No, API, API key. Yes. And you go to click uh, try it. Uh, once you go there, then you, you, you paste the same UID you have gotten from this link then in a body you don't put anything there then you click send once you click send you get a new uh, api key this api key will be the one you will combine with um, the uid paste it here now we are going to generate the basis for of this uid and api key uh, so uh, you're going to uh, come here in any you can use any tool to generate it so uh, you come here uh, so you have you copy the the UID which is this one then uh, paste it here then uh, follow with the uh, API key you put it here then you generate the the basis for string of this combination okay then uh you are ready to go then you will have uh, our combination then you go to any other product you want to use and you go to the first endpoint that is there is to generate the token you click the try it button and uh, after you click there uh, you add the this word basic then you add the string you have generated basis for of combination of uh, of your uid which is the username and api key which is the password then once you go there you click send and once you you click send you get the br token of uh, of what you're trying uh, uh, this uh, API token will be the one to use to the second um, API call like for example this API call 
if I go to this one I click uh, try it um, now I should see the authorization which uh, I can copy that uh, authorization token I have gotten from the previous um, uh, call thank you for watching if you like my video subscribe to my youtube uh, channel and 